had to go do my homework, but I did it. It only took 10 minutes, so it's good. Ah, uh, it kills me. I get good likes, but I don't get good views. Well, I get good views, but it's like only 20 views each stream. So, uh, this might end badly. I, I personally feel like it because they're talking about leaving. And I feel like, I don't know, I but every every Rockstar game it has someone dying in it and yeah. it's probably going to be Harper because every character that was like where you're you were, that's what happened last time your John gets shot to death and, which is which made me cry let's be honest it made me cry when he got shot up like that and I feel like I'm about to get shot up again and I probably will Embarrassing horse. You know what, too? <laughs> we go for this the whole time. What the? Right. Why do you have ashes on? What the heck? Alright, I'm just not looking carefully. I'm just Yet. <gasps> no, no. I knew that was going to happen. What? What? Sometimes I really think you're a retarded horse. <laughs> but it's okay, I still love you. Did you know the horse you start out with on Red Dead Redemption is the one that John Marston used? I just now realize that. Well, I didn't realize that. I've known it for like a couple yeah. weeks. That's a fact because that. What the? Okay, about, about to say. I fell. Uh. <laughs> I wish more inner, like, weird stuff would happen in the woods. I can't wait for this game to go online, dude. But here's the thing, once it goes on, like, flying cars are out, dude. Like, what's up, guys? Get your own flying car right now. But it's gonna be like that. It will. TVs are gonna come out. Probably, and it's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be so annoying, dude. That better not happen, dude. I will literally quit this game. I'm probably just gonna be playing campaign a lot. Never got... I know I didn't like Red Dead when Jimshin went online. That stuff is weird, dude. Like, I gotta study. It. Man, I gotta hurry. <laughs> this is chapter the end of chapter six. I hate how that happened. I used to not be able to do, be doing that, but now I am. Mean, but I'm good. I, I'm trying too. I think I just been on the ground too much. And I lost my war horse, my old one. So it's kind of hard. What? Am I invalid? How the? Oh 
Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I can buy me a gun while I'm here. I need to buy me a gun and I can get my bounty off. I'm not. Not going it. Not doing it, Jose. Not doing it. Out of the damn way. Oh my god. Here, I'm just gonna turn myself in. Shit, is there something wrong with your head? Okay, up, take, it. take all my money, dude. I swear. Alright, I'm taking you in. Please don't, don't take all my money. Please don't take all my money. <laughs> Please do not take all my money. 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 Please don't take all my money. Ugh, he he he's. <laughs> I'm begging you. Ah, please. I'll pay off my bounty. I'll do anything. Just don't take my. Yeah, I swear. If I if they took all my money, I would not. Here, let's buy a gun. I will use an iron on you if you decide to wield them fists again. <laughs> Keep them to yourself. I robbed what this place a lot. I need this back in a minute. Hurry it up. Where is it? There it is. You love it. There we go. Customize. Good. Stop. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I'm buying everything for this gun because it's like the best. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Don't use Triggers, this. parts, back here. Cost a lot to upgrade it, but it's still That's perfect. great. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Do you need any more upgrades? Nope. <clears throat> Perfect. But I still have a bounty. No, I do not. Thank you. I believe I just customized this. Oh, no, I didn't. Oops. I didn't check the last one, but that was. Uh... It's this one. Oops. You keep treating that like your own child, alright? Good on you. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Essential, I'm just I making reckon. this a whole lot better, my dude. This will reap. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Personally, you don't like engraving? Well, I do, but... I'll keep it like that.
Come on. First of all, I gotta find out where the closest place is to there. So, we started 10 minutes ago. We gotta hurry, my boy. Why can't I travel? Uh, let's see, let's check, let's check. Is this Van Horn? Uh, Van Horn Trading Post. Van Horn is probably the closest place we'll get, so. Van Horn. Why didn't you take the back? Hey there, coach coming through here. This will be a lot quicker. So trashy and once you look behind you it's like <clears throat> beautiful. Weird. No, oh, that's good. Don't Sorry about that noise, I, I was just nervous because it's a rare horse. It took me four hours to get it. Very weird. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> Lucky I bumped into him. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin! Mr. Morgan! Charles! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more! Ride with me! Ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son! It is a thing of great beauty! Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. 
My mm. firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, have to help me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles? Who else will come with me? No, oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. No. All right. Bill's Let's cool. I mean, out. I like him, but I don't like him. I don't like him because he betrays Arthur and John. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? Handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing Careful. respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? John, shoot him. Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Somebody help no. him. No, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on!
Huh. <laughs> it's a massacre. We gotta help these men. And then they won't see eagle flies. There. Going across the walkway. You got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. If you go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah! Let's ride! For Narnia! <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> Our oh, we don't. We're dead. Got a good shot on me, dude. Oh, 
got this. Oh, the shit. On me, Arthur! So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Uh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the
<sighs> I'm back. Sorry, guys. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. I've been here before. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. Been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. This is gonna be bad. Let's get out of here, Arthur. I can already tell, man. Oh, I gotta fix this again. Oh, God. So I got one of them high dollar headsets, you know, and we had the extra cord for the Xbox <coughs> gate, but uh, and it like won't, you know, like I'm trying to, you know, tie up, and it just won't stay. There we go. He left me. I knew it. I knew something you bad would happen. Fool. What did I say? Come on. 
You saved my life more than once to give mine for yours. It's as it should be. Come on. We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Oh, we got some money. And with the train job? But well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on. We got to get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride. I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what PT as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is, I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy, and we couldn't believe it, and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you, your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, uh, for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines... have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there... Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. Hold up a second. I'll wait for this game. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north, wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No, this is over for all of us. Peta! Yes. Peta! It's okay, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. Time. Bring him to me.
Did he die? My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Rest a minute. Wenn ich besser Englisch kann. Sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber. No, tell, do not tell me this is who I think it is. Train. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Hello. Six thousand dollars I get a zero cut. I'm gonna kill this dude now. I need that money. Something bad is gonna happen, I can see it. I'd like to be John Morris, but I doubt yep. that will happen. He's my favorite killer. Here. Ah! Oh, and you give me right, 
Don't get all worked. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off... Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... This is a tough time, and you ain't, you ain't doing too well, but we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so, but if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more That's trade. always a goddamn trade. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all... Going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you gotta do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family. I I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let him go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now. We gonna rob a train? No. Sure. No. No. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go! Yeah! Taking over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Mm. 
What is that noise? Got it. All right. Let's get this done. I need to get my Come health on. fully back. Come on. Train's on its way. Think this is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> Have a mess in the oil factory? I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well, let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. But first, we got one last train, John. One last train. something different sounds about as good now as every time i heard it before oh abigail must be real excited all packed up like she is i could just see her in the little grass skirt don't talk to me you son of a bitch boys boys okay now let's keep it down we don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here nice and easy through town fellas ah uh, saint denis good to be back Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Fire. All of you. Not much further now. Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this! Of course we are! <laughs> Just gotta jump on the train, I guess. Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! I have not seen that train emblem in a long time. The last time I seen something like that is on Red Dead 1. Yeah. 
front care. Uh, gotta push forward. Little lady. 
That was my sister. Come on. We gotta get to the front. Alright. The money should be in the front care. Okay. I, I don't care. Thank you. Run. I like it. Oh. We got something. We got something. Catch. There's more. Morgan, the driver's dead. This thing ain't stopping. We got to get off. Okay then, let's go. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to didn't. run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. I doubt they kill. No, they didn't kill him. No, John Marston isn't dead. Oh, he's not. <laughs> John, I don't know. No, he's not dead. It's a lot. Gotta let her go. John's a. Uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. You got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. We just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Uh, Micah, uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur, but he's right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here, take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah, nah, 
Nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler? Ride with me? If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. I'm gonna mute my mic right now because uh, this is important. Uh, uh, this is like my favorite part. I will speak again. I don't know if it's my favorite part or not. I want to see what happens. Oh, you know. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get.
down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. Just tell a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> oh. 
horrible man. <laughs> Now, come on, both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Billy's got him. Thank God. <coughs> Abigail, you ride mine. No time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't. I Arthur. He. What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No. Abigail. I'm... <laughs> I was on the train and I didn't see it. No. <laughs> Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> I gotta go settle some things. For me. No one else. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in the caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <clears throat> Yeah. 
I can already see it. I already have a te like five tears in my eyes. Oh god. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care is it, who is that? that? Did you want to see that? You rats. All of you. There is someone behind us. Seems old Mark, it was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, Kapo? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! Uh, John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you? You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you mm, quiet, I could Mr. already Bell. see how this is going to end. put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you <laughs> is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think, think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, 
John? Yeah. Everyone cut down! Stay with me, Arthur! John, Milton told me. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. Arthur, you go on first. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said.
brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on. Push, Arthur. Thank you. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur. See you around, John Marston. Be safe. Dutch. Monica. Come and get me, you bastard. Money will repay my horse. <clears throat> this money will go to John Horse. Forty. Oh. oh. With a, a pillow. 
This pillow costs forty-three thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. That's a lot of money. I could buy every gun now. Stopped you, and I told everyone you were right. That's winning enough for me. My <laughs> oh, Arthur, you damn fools! I told you, Dutch, that he'd come back here to rob us. Like I said, he would. I came to take what's mine. Rat. I ain't no rat, black you lung. Are my God. You're the rat. Now, Molly Dutch, it's him. Him. <sighs> Kill him. Not Molly. Now, Miss Grimshaw. Not even cold. <laughs> You're dying, black lung. And you've gone crazy. Let him damn us all, Dutch. Come on, Dutch. You gotta go. Dutch. Let's go. I never... Dutch! <laughs> well... I must say, Arthur. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, too.
Sales. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. You gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading. Oh, that's sad, still. dude. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. I wonder what happens if we go back. Should we go back? I'm glad I'm John Morrison, but dude. That should have not happened. That happens with every Rockstar game. Don't you abandon your family, John Marston. I've, 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 I've cried two times because these two came. This is it the end of it? They know how to make a good western game, but they know how to make it really sad at the end of it. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. That's so sad. Hmm. Yep. Oh, man. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed a mm. few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh... Well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, 
Where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Hmm. Oh God. Mm. Lost all that gear. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> now listen, this ain't my job. We're not... I'm not doing this as a job. Where am I on? Now I'm still wandering in black here. Good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Gettys don't want his damage. Of course. Why ain't this word stop? I saw my horse die. That made me sad. No. They, they, that, that's way too over. They shouldn't have killed my horse. I spent four hours on that. Chapter we even on. have we completed the <laughs> We're not even Red
Should I go check out? I um, actually really, really want to go check out if he, his d dead body's dead. Enemy to destroy that fence. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss? He looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife. We was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now. That ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Mm. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> We know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> The way he runs. It's <laughs> hilarious, dude. Okay, I'm gonna on the source. No playing around. We gotta kill him. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. 
What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Not bad. Part one. Prologue. My horse, apparently. Ah, oh, why am I really skinny? Hmm, I'm not gonna ask. Hmm. You knew horse ever. Shave. Oh, God. Yeah, I look horrible. Ugh. He's close. Well. There you are, Missy. We will go. And we'll search for our for Morgan's body. One year later, and we're going to go search for it. like things have changed. Now listen, horse, I don't need you dying on me. We're going to go check out if he's still alive. Come on. Looks like I did lose that. Dude, dude. Dude. For real, they like, you need, you need to chill, dude. Well, I got my saddle still. Oh, never mind, I shut up. Looks like John forgot my hat. Barely eats. 
All right, you're making me mad. Mm. Easy. Oh, the mighty horse. What is your problem? Come down here. Come here. Don't go out of your horse, you bobber. Looks like I'm gonna have to walk. How far is Valentine? Get my old horse there. Fine morning. Thank you. Where's it going? That's off, partner. I get some money from this horse right here. I would love to go there and just pick up my guns. Sucks that I just lost all my money and all that. Yeah, I got a problem. Hello. How's that horse doing? I got space for you if you need stabling. I can't use Rachel. There she is. Yeah. In remembrance of Hannah. You won't regret it. Worth it. There we go. Got our horse back. Not our horse horse, but. there.
Hey, mister. The laziness just rubs me the wrong way. Dan. Gave me some time there. Thank you. Good boy. We will get nuts, okay?
There's gotta be some sign. Dad, right?
Where's the chest? So there's nothing in my memory of uh, memory of our firmware yet. He's gonna die. Ready, what about my horse? Beautiful flowers. It's where it died. I'll be on <coughs> tomorrow. Good night.